Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Our guest on this episode is an entertainment lawyer who works with one of the prestigious law firms in Lagos, Nigeria, where she leads the entertainment law group of the firm. She has, over the years, garnered in-depth experience in providing premium legal advice and representation to individuals and organizations in the entertainment industries in Nigeria. Aside entertainment law, she's experienced in intellectual property, immigration, and company secretarial matters in Nigeria. She focuses on prosecution of trademark, patent, copyright, and design on behalf of clients. She manages the immigration status of several expatriates in Nigeria and is involved in general corporate and commercial matters in the firm. Let's make welcome the beautiful Leonard Yemisi Falaye. Welcome, good to Welcome. have you on the show. Welcome Thank on the you show. Very much. Mm. You guys are doing an awesome job. Mm. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Privileged. Thank you very much mm. for the opportunity. We feel privileged to have you too. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Now, I know, I know you guys are supposed to start the show, but um, I like to do my things different okay. as long as it's positive. Yeah. So do you mind if I start? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So when you guys were throwing banters, mm -hmm. um, there were a few things that you said, especially regarding my first client. Oh, he's talking about Oh, she's oh, a friend. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. The tea is so. about to speak. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell is you. She's still your client. Absolutely. Oh, good. I was I was at the party yesterday. Good. And when the P, I mean, I'll get to that. Mm -hmm. So um, the my firm has three major uh, departments: the corporate, commercial, energy, and dispute resolution. Um, entertainment law was part of the corporate commercial. Mm. But then in 2015 or 16, I can't remember now, the partner in charge of that department decided that the entertainment law group should be a standalone. Mm. You know, so one day he called me and asked me if I knew any celebrity. As of then, I knew Toke and a, you know, a couple of others, but Toke's name jumped at me. And then he said, I should put a call across to her. Let's see if we can do something with her in terms of legal services. Um, we got talking to Toke and there and then, my boss offered her free legal service for a year. Okay. And that was how we kicked off. And of course, it's been from one client to Idiot. another. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the firm is big. I mean, the department is big now. So, Toke Makinwa is our, I mean, pioneer client in the department. Mm -hmm. so apart from being a client, we've grown to become friends, almost mm -hmm. like sisters. She confides in me a lot. So, one day, she woke me up very upset, panicking, and said some person has said something about her on Twitter that she's owing a staff that is six months staff salary, a pregnant woman or a mother, and all of that. She was panicking. Um, I wouldn't want to say a lot about that because we have plans. You know, we have plans. You know, I've known, like I said, I've known Tokyo since 2015, and she's one. What you guys saw about her is what she is. Mm -hmm. Toke will rather pay you up front so that you don't tell any tales, and then she can then tell you to do her job and expect the best mm -hmm. from you. Okay. That's how she operates, and mm -hmm. that's how I've known her to be. So and that's one. Two, she has never hired a mother, mm -hmm. let alone a pregnant one or a married one. She's hired young girls, young guys, single guys, and all of that. So that story is obviously absolutely yeah. wrong. You know, so like I said, I won't mm. talk much about that because mm. I'm glad you're yeah. clear here yeah. now because that news has gone far. Yeah, you know what they say about bad news? Yeah, so, it travels faster. Yeah, so mm -hmm. be, be, because we're we're in a society of um, social media, mm -hmm. the whole world will hear soon what will happen next. Mm. Mm. So don't be just calm but down. But it's it's kind of um, worrisome when you absolutely. see someone can actually sit down. And type things that they know that is absolutely no, yeah. untrue about a person. I it's don't know how. Crazy. I think we have too many mental health issues it's in this part of the world. They're not I being addressed. I agree addressed. with her. I yeah. agree with her. It's actually All right, so scary. this brings me um, to the defamation of character. And mm -hmm. um, like in Toke's case, obviously, this is defamation of character. Mm -hmm. So and this also brings me to David Doe's issue where some ladies said, um, or one of them said she was pregnant for David Doe, right? So um, if David Doe was to pursue a legal action, what step would he have taken? And then uh, um, the video that came out where he parodied the girls um, and coughed and all of that without us seeing the police getting involved. Now, what's your take on that? And what legal action could he have taken 
if you actually wanted to pursue the case? Uh, first, um, what, what we do in our firm, we reach out to the other party, we let you know you've done something wrong, we give you an ultimatum within which to redress what you have done, do the right thing, either retract, either pay damages or whatever. And um, we, like I said, we give an ultimatum, seven days, 14 days, depending on what you've done and how far we think you can redress the wrong. And if you don't, we start legal actions. In this case, we would have reported to the, you know, written a petition to the Nigeria police, they probably arrest the corporate and take it up from there. Mm. That's what should be what done. What about parading the girls? Because a lot of people think it's in your mind. Yeah, it's actually wrong. That's you taking the law into your hands, which is absolutely wrong. Mm. If I were David or David Doe, or if I were in his legal team, what we have done after laying our hands on the corporates is to hand them over to the police mm -hmm. and let the, let the law take its um, course. Okay, so, sorry, do you think we have enough entertainment lawyers for the industry as it's were right now? Yes, uh, well, actually no, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take my yes back. I would say no. However, um, the, the reason I think we don't have enough is because creatives are different. Mm. Mm. The way you have a company as a client is different from the way you have Zlatan Ibile as a client, who is mm -hmm. also a client, by the way. Okay. Zlatan wants you to be up, you know, all in his business because he doesn't want to make any mistakes. He doesn't mm -hmm. want any flop. A company or someone, a private individual, will want you to focus your attention on the legal part alone. Do you know what I mean? So creatives also have, most of them usually have trust issues. So once they're able to trust you, they hold on to you. And you are almost going to be like stuck. So you see that once you are you know, in their business, you are not able to go out. They don't want to work with anybody else mm. but you. Okay. I have, I can't, if I tell you the number of people that hold on to my neck every day at any time of the day, mm -hmm. you'll be amazed. And they'd rather do that with me than with anybody else. Okay. Mm. Even within the firm. So there are about four of us in the department. Some would rather talk to me alone. Because you've Even, used the trust over exact, the years. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And there are you know, other clients who would rather talk to either of the other people mm -hmm. on the team. So that's how um, creatives operate. Now, if one creative says to another creative that, look, Yemisi is the best person for you. Go get her. They're coming to Yemisi and no one else. They don't mm. want to. So that's how they will keep <coughs> bombarding Yemisi. You know, mm. Yemisi yeah, yeah, being an example, mm. you know, they keep bombarding. Can Yemisi yeah, stand as a referral to another lawyer in that regard? Absolutely. I do it. All right, so would you... Do oh, it. sorry, please shoot. Okay, so how would you describe the level of awareness about entertainment law in Nigeria? Social media has helped a lot. Social media is a blessing and it's also a curse. Mm. Um, it's a blessing in the sense that when people get into trouble, you see it on social media. Mm -hmm. um, um, a lot of record label issues, many people know through Instablog, mm. through a ranting artist, through um, a, a vindictive record label, you know what I mean? So because of that, it has, um, a lot of awareness has been you know, created amongst mm. the creatives. They now know that they need to get their mm. thing together so that they won't get into trouble. So social media has actually helped you know, raise a lot of awareness. I get calls and referrals every day from another creative, you know, wanting to do Set something, so. yeah. So yes. entertainment lawyers in high demand right now? Absolutely. Okay, so and um, since you said absolutely, what type of cases do you get most of the time? Is it against the media? Is it against record labels? Is it against another artist? Is it copyright infringement? Or what comes up? Yeah. What comes up um, most often? Most frequent issue. <clears throat> most frequent. Let me see now. I think media. Media. Mm -hmm. media and what's in the, the issue? Media in the sense that with all due respect to you guys, you guys are journalists. You guys are doing a fantastic job. The three of you, uh, plus TV as well. Fantastic um, media outfit. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Most of your colleagues out yes. there, uh, in quotes, uh, and I'm sorry, are junkies. 
<laughs> junkies for what exactly? Junkies for bad news. Mm. You know how Does a true junkie just sales? wanna mm -hmm. sniff without even yeah. you know, caring? They don't That's care how, about the good news. Yeah, you know, they don't care about the good news. They don't care about verifying what they're about to splash out. Mm -hmm. They don't care about the impact on the subject. Or even the words used. Or even the words used. Mm. They don't care about all of these things. You know, so I get a lot of my guys saying to me, yo, you need to sue so, so, and so TV. They have just said this thing about me. I'm not finding it funny, blah. So I get a lot of media stuff. Mm. So yeah. in handling um, cases for your clients, mm -hmm. uh, is there a particular client or any kind of client you would say, I don't want this person's personality, except this person is ready to be tamed to an extent? Mm. Like, I don't like what they're putting out there, so I'm not able to represent them. Is there a case like that? Uh, I could give you a perfect example. Don't give an example, <laughs> please. Okay, so, okay, it's my boy, so it's fine if I, mm. if I use this. Before I met... Zlatan, mm -hmm. I didn't like him. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't like him because um, Simi is my client. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. And they had like a back and forth. I yes. think you have Audrey. <laughs> that's, that's, nice that's what I was telling you. Yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe we need to be direct since we're good. I, 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 I think you not liking Zlatan might be a perception thing. But now look at someone like Naramali and what he's putting out there. Uh, well, I was getting okay. there. All right. So I didn't like both of them. As a matter of fact, all Naramali songs that I had, that I bought on Apple, um, I, iTunes, mm -hmm. I, I deleted everything when okay. that thing happened. Mm -hmm. Because I'm very passionate about my clients. I'm very personal about them. You don't come for them. So I, I didn't know those boys then. So I just said, ah, I'm not going to do this. However, two days before, um, two days before, EFCC, the EFCC matter. Olamide had advised one of his um, people to bring Zlatan to me. Olamide is a client? Well, not directly. Okay. okay. But he knows me. We, he's my, my, my good. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So he directed one of his guys to bring Zlatan to me for proper legal representation. And the Zlatan I met was direct opposite of this lesson that I knew. Mm. Wow. And there and then, I fell in love with Latin. So we started working with him. EFCC came on board, in quotes. Luckily, we got him out of EFCC. While he was at EFCC, I met Naira Mali, and I discovered that Naira also is direct opposite of who he is. Mm. And now, they are my Gs, they are my guys. Mm. Mm. Yeah. They are my guys. I can go all out for them as well. I, I okay, like um, so, okay. I'll do this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not even about Mali. We've had like um, artists like his Daniel, Ari Song, and loads of them. Daniel um, is also a client. Oh, great. Right. <laughs> uh, okay. Go back yeah. and yeah. that time is yeah, you're coming back. Please come with all your clients. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what, they've had issues with their record label. I mean, how would you advise any artist out there to avoid all this kind of drama? Mm. Get a lawyer. Once you wake up one day and you have decided to make your talent your means of livelihood, get up and call a lawyer. That's all right. So um, from a legal standpoint, with everything going on with Naramali, thank God is your G. So do you think he's going to scale through this one? Or what do you think? If he has a good lawyer, he will. He will. Mm -hmm. So you think they, they, don't, they don't have anything solid, concrete against him? Uh, you know the case is in court. Yeah, um, and she's so a lawyer. Can. But, uh, <laughs> so but I know that if you have a good lawyer, he he can win you know what they say? To a, to a banker, 2 plus 2 is 4. Mm. To you guys, 2 plus 2 is 4. To me, if you ask me what 2 plus 2 is, I'll tell you if whatever you want me to make it be, I'll make it be. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, mommy. <laughs> I think I'll wrap up this <laughs> You're coming there, back, you're coming Malias. back. Malias, see you. See you, we shout to Malias. Believe me. <laughs>
Okay, so that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Applause TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always will go to my co anchors, Ewa Oluwa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Shokaye, and the entire production team. And of course, our studio guest, Yemisi Falai. Thank you for being here. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and please be good. <laughs>